The results of an analysis of variance are often summarized in what's called an ANOVA summary table. And this table represents uh, several bits of information. It provides the source of that variation, and that variation is either between group variation or within group variation or the total variation. It gives you in the second column the sum of squares, which is the total sum of squares between group within group at total variation. It gives you the number of degrees of freedom for each of those components. So for between group variation, there is k minus 1 degrees of freedom, which is k is the number of groups you're comparing. It gives you the mean sum of squares, which is the sum of squares divided by the degrees of freedom. It gives you the ratio of the mean square between group and mean square within group, and that's under the column called the F value. And that F value is what we use to compare with our expected F value to reach a conclusion about rejecting or not rejecting the null hypothesis that the means are equal across each group. In this particular case, the alpha is less than 0.01, so we would reject the claim that the means are equal. In other words, there's differences between the groups. Finally, the eta square at the bottom of the table gives you the proportion of variation in dependent variable accounted for by the independent variable. In this particular case, we account for a sizable percent of that variation, over 69% of the variation.